This tutorial is about how to use FTP with Dreamweaver CS5, which is a slightly different interface than some of the earlier versions of Dreamweaver in terms of how they did the servers and the FTP. So, before you actually go into Dreamweaver and start up, one of the first things that's very important is that you have a folder on your computer or your flash drive into which you're going to put these files. And when you're working with the BMCC server, or really any server, generally a server is really just one big folder that has a bunch of subfolders in it. So you want to have one folder that says something on it that refers to your n the name of the server or whatever it is. That's usually how I do it. So I know, okay, all my files that are going to be up on the server, these are the, this is the local place where those are. All right, so I have that folder in place, and now I can go ahead and start my connection. So, in Dreamweaver, we're going to make a new site. All right, so we're going to go here. I'm going to click on a new Dreamweaver site. So one of the ways that you manage servers and FTP and so forth in Dreamweaver is to make what's called a site. So I'm going to give it a name, too. and then I'm going to locate that folder that we made earlier. So I'm going to click on here and go into um, my sites. Where did I put that? Uh-huh. And there it is here. Let's put that as a, a list. So our BMCC multimedia server. Choose that. And so now I have that there. The next step is to go to servers right here on the tab and click on that. And we're going to add a server. And this is where we connect to the BMCC multimedia server. So I'm going to click the plus button down here. And you'll give this server a name. I'm just going to call it BMCC multi server. And connect would be using FTP. And the address for everyone is mmp.bmcc.com cuny.edu. Oops, with a D there, and I see. Okay, and then your username and password should be given to you by your professor. So uh, I'm going to go in and, and enter one in here uh, just as a test, but you would have your own username and password, and your username will look something like that. and then you put in your password and if you click save then it will save it with Dreamweaver if you're doing this uh, on a school computer you should probably uncheck save so you have to enter your password each time and someone can't get in then usually what I do is just click test All right? so it will say this connected to your web server successfully if you get a message uh, I'm just going to mess up this password here it will say something like that and sometimes it waits a minute and checks so the reasons why it might not connect are one, there's something wrong with the server, or two, you entered in the information wrong, and three, there could actually be something wrong with your account. So if you keep trying, you can't get in, you should contact your professor. So the other thing to know is that your username here is where your root directory is on the BMCC server. So under here where it says web URL, I'm going to paste in the username at the end, and that is the actual location of where your um, site is going to be. So I'm going to test this again just to make sure it's okay. And then click Save. And then now we have a server. And it's going to connect to it just to check. And what you can look at then is you can look at your files drawer uh, and connect to that server. So you, would, you, you can click on Local View, and this should be that file that you had there. And then if you are connected here, this is to undo the connection and to connect. So if it's connected, you can then look at your remote files. Now, uh, the, the other thing to do here, I'm going to go back to the local view for a second, is let's say you have a, a something coming up. So I'm going to go under here, let's move this over a bit so we can see it fully. I'm going to click on this menu and go to File, New Folder. So I might have my midterm coming up. So I make a folder for the midterm there and then uh, put MMP240 midterm as a title and I might make a file inside of that uh, and so forth so new file index.html 
All right, and then we can also, of course, open that up in the normal Dreamweaver interface here and start working on that file. All right, so there we are, code, design, etc. Now, the next step is, let's make sure this goes up to the web. So, there's a few different ways to do that. One is, in the Files menu, when you click on uh, a file, you can click the blue up arrow, and that puts files up to the server. So, I'm just looking here in Local View, I click Up. It's now going to upload that file to the server. Just like that. And what it's going to ask you to do is whether you want to put dependent files. And that just means things like images, CSS files, JavaScript, and so forth. If you haven't done them before, you can click Yes. If you already have, you can just click No to just upload that HTML file that you clicked on. In this case, we don't have any. So it'll connect, and it'll tell you connected. And then now the question is, well, let's see if it actually is there. So uh, to remember, remember this and, and check that it's online, mmp.bmcc.cuny.edu, just like your FTP address. And then after the slash, your username. And if you have a folder in there like we did, let's just go and look at that folder again. So our folder was named MMP240 Midterm. So we're going to go uh, look, we want to look directly at that folder. So I would do slash that says in this user, let's go to a folder, MMP240 Midterm. And then the file was index.html. Right, and there it is. It should work as well if you leave out the, if it's the index file, you can just write in the name of the folder. If it's another file, like you would actually, you'd have to have the name of that file there. So there you have it, FTPing and writing a file up to Dreamweaver.